All right. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are you today? It is a great Wednesday morning, folks, isn't it? I hope it is good wherever you are. Good morning, Donna from Estero, Florida, and Deborah from Milton, Florida. Hi, Cindy from Alaska, and Patricia from Homestead, Florida. Kathy from Northport, Florida. Are you guys like, you just all got together and said, hey, Floridians, <laughs> we're in the house today at Kimberbell. Let's, uh, let's all chime in first. I love it. Good morning to you. Hi, Cheryl from Nevada and Priscilla from Texas. Hi, Bernadette from Schoenberg, Illinois. She says where it is cold today. Oh, yeah. Very cold in our neck of the woods, too. Um, good morning, Christina Lauritsen from Iowa and Julie from Minnesota. Hi, Anne from Indianapolis. And Vicki, she says it's lunchtime. Oof, sounds good to me. <laughs> Hi, Kathy from Ohio. Marianne from Oregon. Kathy from Kansas. Tracy from Arkansas. Chris, hello, hello. Hi, Deb from Washington. Sherry from California, Tina from East Texas, Jenna from the Ozarks. Oh my goodness. And you keep coming through quick and fast and I love it. Thank you for being here. My name is Kim Christofferson and I am here to talk about all things new at Kimberbell this week. And boy, we have some fun stuff coming up, including I'm going to make the announcement of the two big epic winners of last week's What's New Wednesday giveaway. Remember the oh so delightful bag full of stuff, like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. It's going to be yours to two people today. I can't wait to share those winners with you. I'm going to make you wait just a little bit longer, right? And then we're also going to have another great big giveaway. You know, pretty good decent size giveaway today, which we love to do. And I get to introduce you to one of my dear friends and co-workers today to talk a little bit more about some of the background, literally the background of Oh So Delightful. So let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of So and Tell with Kimberly. <laughs> We're so excited. We have to do it twice. All right. Let's take a look at what you guys are making this week. Oh, my goodness. There's some fun stuff going on, guys. You have been busy with all kinds of things, but take a look at this sewing room. Kara, she says she decorated her sewing room with alternating embroidery and quilted blocks. She mounted them on eight inch canvases. Um, so, okay. I love that, Kara. You just gave us a brilliant idea for taking any Kimberbell design and putting it at, you know, an angle there on point, but then wrapping it around canvas. Let's take a closer look at some of the ones she used. She used this create design. This actually comes from the Bella box that we had uh, last year, I believe it was called Live Creatively. You can still find those designs at metimedelivered.com for the Bella box. This one is, this is my happy place. Oh, okay, Kara, I love how you also added the border of embroidery sew, sew quilt, embroidery sew quilt. That design actually was one of the bonus designs from that Bella box. And boy, that just couldn't be cuter. And then she took some additional quilt block designs. She added those to the eight inch canvases. Look how cute it is in her sewing room, all wrapped around that door frame and then across the top border of her room. Oh, Kara, that just made me happy. What a fun room to walk into every morning. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, let's see, Amanda, she's been working on her digital dealer exclusives design from January. This, of course, is the Hey Sweetie Pie tea towel. But what I love about this picture is that her husband made her the cutest little ladder to hang her towel from. She says teamwork makes a dream work. That's for sure. But can we talk about the pink KitchenAid right there? I mean, come on. Who wouldn't love to have that in their kitchen? But how cute. Let's take a look at that, a closer look at Hey Sweetie Pie. There it is, guys. And it's not too late to get that design. If you want to make that design for Valentine's Day and for all your friends and loved ones, neighbors, whoever, 
you can find it for, with a shop who is participating in digital dealer exclusives. Go to our shop locator. There you can search by those shops and they'd be happy to provide that design for you. So much fun. In fact, I made one just yesterday. I'm so excited because I'm like, you know what? I made one last week. I was pretty excited about that. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this again because it was so much fun. But I did tell my husband, no touchy. No touching this towel. This is for for looks only. <laughs> so he's been warned. There you go. Here's another one that Tracy did, taking the same design of Hey Sweetie Pie, but she made it uh, into a framed picture. So there you go. You don't have to do it just on a tea towel or a tote bag or an apron. Look how cute that looks just in a frame. Tracy, I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that. All right. You know, another thing that you guys have been working on a whole lot lately are the new Pretty and Posh zipper pouches. Oh, my gosh. It's been so fun to see them. Let's take a look at a few here. Um, there's definitely been a favorite one so far. I'm going to point out here in just a minute. But let's take a look at this one from Wendy. She says she whipped up a, free, a few Pretty and Posh bags this weekend for gifts. She said they were so quick and easy to make. She says, I may just have to keep one for myself. Uh, you better believe it, Wendy. You better keep one for yourself. <laughs> They're so cute. I mean, yes, gift them. Absolutely. But definitely gift one to yourself. Let's take a closer look at a couple of hers there. Just beautiful. Love the fabric choices. They're great. Those pretty and posh zipper pouches are a great, great way to show off just your most favorite fabrics, aren't they? Um, speaking of really cool, um, uh, specific fabrics that just screams to the, the person you're gifting it to. Let's take a look here at what Sherry made for her granddaughter. She says this is for her granddaughter's 16th birthday. She plays softball and loves it. So look what she did, you guys. Ah, it's from Pretty and Posh. But doesn't it take on a whole nother look with her granddaughter's favorite sport, softball in this case. Oh my goodness, she's going to love that. So personalized because she also, of course, added her initials there. I absolutely love it. Now there's definitely been kind of a front runner, if, if you will, on the pretty and posh zipper pouches this week. I'm going to show you a quick little video snippet to tell you what that front runner has been. And then I'm going to show you some examples of things that you guys have made uh, with Pretty and Posh on the Margot. The Margot has definitely been a favorite. I see. Keep coming up. Let's take a look at our little reel that we made for the video or for the for the Margot. And then I'm going to show you what you guys have been making with the Margot. Let's take a look. What? I told you I like you. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I like you, Margo. And this is what you guys are making. You like her too. Of course, we named the Pretty and Posh Zipper Pouches after four names. Um, and the Margo is definitely a winner in your book. Let's see what you guys have done. Here we go. Tracy, she says, this is the Margo. I told Kim I was doing the Margo bag first. Just decided to change the colors a bit. She's so pretty. She gave us a helpful hint, too, which I just love. She says, raise your embroidery foot in the quilting over the flexi foam. So as you can see here, she's got the red velveteen that patch there. And that's where a little bit of flexi foam is. Well, the front there. And uh, she gave us the tip to raise your presser foot just a little bit. So thank you, Tracy, for sharing that. Um, here we go. There's the inside. I love that pop of color. Okay, another Margot. Look at this one from MJ. She says, this is a Margot zipper pouch, just needs tassel attached to the zipper pull. <gasps> Don't you love those florals and that yellow right there in the center? Just gorgeous. MJ liked doing the Margot so much that look at this one. She says, I'm officially addicted. I love addiction. <laughs> well, when it comes to machine embroidery, folks, right? Look at that beautiful pouch with the, the heart fabric, the center fabric there, the design that just uh, makes it pop. 
absolutely love it. And then finally, this one from Linda, she says, this is her pretty and posh. And what I love about what Linda did this one with this one is that she added on the uh, strap. Don't you love that? Ah, doesn't the Margot help show off the most beautiful fabrics? I love it. Bravo. Bravo to everyone who made pretty and posh zipper pouches this week. No matter if you did the Margo, the Penelope, the, 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 I can't remember the names offhand. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. You are loving it. I'm loving it too. So keep posting those pictures. All right. Let's take another wow. Uh, look at another wow today. Uh, you guys loved it too. Look over at Kimber Bellas and Fellas for this one. This one's from Tammy. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Okay. How many of you guys saw this one? Wow. She says this was her secret Valentine project. We're going to see some up close pictures here in a minute, guys. Um, I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but basically what she did is she loved, 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 loved Broomhilda's Bakery from Kimberbell. This came out, this was a Halloween design that came out years ago. So you, she used the same concept of Broomhilda's Bakery, same block sizes in, in many of those cases. Um, she said that she's, said most of the block ideas came from Broomhilda's quilt, exactly how they were. She traded the pumpkins for hearts. Let's take a closer look because you are going to love it. And if you are a big Kimberbell fan out there, you're going to start recognizing all of these little snippets from different Kimberbell projects over the years. And boy, did this just make me happy to see. I mean, come on. Look at the Valentine gnome. You guys know where he came from? I, I I bet type it in the comments if you know where that gnome came from with his cute dangling legs. That came from a came from the Lucky Us bench pillow, still available, and but she made it all Valentined, <laughs> if you will, and then she used some designs from our Valentine um, applique CD that came from the vault. She used a cute little frog um for, <laughs> that's under that glass dome you guys there's just some things that when they all come to fruition at the end of crazy sketches and stuff i just go oh that little frog just makes me smile and that little frog under the dome does in the original halloween design it said totally under your spell this one she changed to totally in love absolutely love it of course you see hey sweetie pie right there and that came from Digital Dealer Exclusives this year. And see the typewriter at the top? You're just my type. That came from Love Notes that came out a few years ago. Love it. Tammy, you're killed it with this one. Look, another cute little gnome there from the Lucky S. Pinch Pillow. Then, of course, the Love Letters. Did you know that's an actual zipper in there that you can, like, stick little Love Notes in? Little pocket there? Um, that also came from Love Notes. Way to go, Tammy. Way to go. Okay, let's take a look at a final one that made my day, made me smile. If this doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. It's a simple one, but what she said was so, so sweet. Let's take a look at this one here from Sue. She says, I've been sending my dad, he's 94, pillows for each holiday. He sent me the picture on the left as a subtle reminder that his pillow is naked. <laughs> if you're listening to this and you're going, what are you talking about? It's an empty pillow. There's no, It's a pillow form that's sitting there. The Tweet Heart pillow is going in the mail today. I'm sure he's going to love it. I'm already working on the lucky pillow for March. Can't have naked pillows. Oh, no, you can't, Sue. And that just, I mean, her dad is 94. 94. And you can see that that just makes us day. Let's look at the naked pillow here. <laughs> it's empty. It needs a cover, right, Sue? So she's on it. She's working on it. And she just finished. Let me call you Tweetheart. I'm in love with you to take care of that for her 94-year-old father. Sue, again, <laughs> I loved that. That just makes me so happy to see because it truly does, when we make something for someone else, it truly does make, bring us joy, right? So Sue, 
I was thinking about that. I, I've been thinking about your, your post for the last few days because it just really made me happy. And I thought, you know what, Sue? You need to have the next brand. Well, maybe your dad, I should say, needs to have the next brand new pillow um, download that's coming out in March from Kimberbell. No one has seen this yet, but I'm going to show you a picture, Sue, because we're going to send you the designs, the background quilting designs, fabric, you name it, Sue. I want you to make this next pillow for your 94-year-old dad so he has no naked pillows, okay? <laughs> so still make him your the lucky one, the, the March one, lucky yes. But take a look at this one that's coming out in March. Sue, it's coming your way. All the fabrics, all the embellishments, all the background quilting designs and the design itself. This is called Life is Better and Full Bloom. And Sue, I want you to get right on that and make that for your dad, all right? We'll be contacting you, Sue, making sure you get everything you need to make that for your 94-year-old father. Thank you so much for sharing those, you guys. It's just, it's a real treat for all of us at Kimberbell to see what you are making. So please keep posting. You can do that over, well, you can do it anywhere, right? Post wherever you are on this World Wide Web. <laughs> but we especially like to see it in the Kimberbellas and Fellas group because that's where we share ideas and we share, you know, tips and we answer each other's questions and we cheer each other on. So there you go. Take, uh, keep posting over there. And Sue, watch for your mail because something special is going to come your way. All right, guys, let's take a look at, oh, what else do we have going on? Oh, well, speaking of digital dealer exclusives, quickly, let me show you. You know, a lot of you are doing um, Hey Sweetie Pie right now, right? Um, because that was the January's Digital Dealer exclusive. But guess what? Today's February 1st. Where has the time gone? I don't know. But today's February 1st. And therefore, a new Digital Dealer exclusive design is coming out this month, depending on when your shop uh, hosts this, okay? Um, this is it. It's the so lucky little bitch buddy. Ah. Oh, isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Just cute little bench buddy. Bench buddies are perfect to go with bench pillows, but they also look great on a shelf or next to your bench pillow or like in a dough bowl or on a tear tray or on your bed or you name it. Look how darling that is. The quilting comes with it, the background quilting. You're going to learn how to piece in the hoop and do background quilting. Look at that fun shamrock. That's actually pieced and then applique over around it. And then you've got some fun little quilting designs. And so, you know, there you go. You have your little so lucky little grouping of St. Patrick's Day designs, just like that. Now, something just came to my mind. Earlier when I showed you um, the, the Valentine designs that came from from, um, oh my goodness, now it's left me, from Lisa's um, quilt. I said that some of those gnomes came from Lucky Us, but you know what it was? It actually came from, <laughs> now it's left me, oh, Luck of the Gnome. You guys, there's too many names here at Kimberbell over the years on these things. Luck of the Gnome. So if you're looking for those gnomes, that's where you're going to find it, Luck of the Gnome. There you go. Okay, so back to this. So lucky, find a quilt shop that is participating in digital dealer exclusives because as the name entails, it's exclusive. And that's the only way you'll be able to find that design. All right, so check it out. It's this month's design. Can't wait to, to show you all the rest throughout the year. All right, guys. Okay, so people are very excited. Tammy, so lucky is so cute. Yeah. I, I absolutely love it too. Rebecca, she says, I just finished my lucky pillow last night. <laughs> oh my goodness. Patsy, oh my gosh, Kim, you and the Kimberbell group is also, oh, you're sweet, Patsy. She says, so special for a 94 year old gentleman. Uh, well, 
he, he's he's got to be pretty special. He's got to be pretty special, especially since Sue is making those things for him each month. That's pretty awesome. Rita says, I love Sue's dad's sense of humor. I know. I think that's what got me too, Rita. I just was like, okay, I like him. 94 years old. He's sending his daughter a picture of a naked pillow saying, come on, what's next? And you know, that's just got to make his day when he receives that in the mail. It's pretty awesome. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. What is next? Oh, here we go. You know how excited we all are here at Kimberbell for the new Oh So Delightful. Oh So Delightful. Guess what, guys? We showed it last week. This week, I'm going to show it a little bit again, but we're going to talk more about the background quilting designs. If you missed last week's episode of What's New Wednesday, don't miss it. Go back and watch because this is the quilt. Well, the main quilt, but as you know, there's all kinds of bonus projects with it too and all kinds of like additional little quilts. Remember this? We're not going to talk about too much today because we did last week. But what I do want to focus on is something that is all the buzz today. You guys are already downloading it. You're excited because one of the things that I would say is the star of the show is the background quilting. I should say optional background quilting for this. But let's take a moment here to look at some of these up close. Oh, let's see background quilting designs on here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, there's so many good ones. Can be used for so many things. This was especially something that you guys talked about last week was you couldn't get over this border. Do you see the border? How it just says so happy in there. And the ruler, you just about lost your minds when you saw how cute the background quilting was on the ruler. And I mean, you name it. There's some fun elements as part of this background quilting bundle. It is available today. Okay, so you're waiting for this to arrive. It's being sent out to shops starting February 8th. So that's next Wednesday. But while you're waiting, what about taking advantage of a 20% discount on the background quilting bundle right now, today, so that when it comes next week in the next couple of weeks for you, you are ready to go. But you know what I say around here? It takes a village. It certainly takes a village to do what, to produce what we do at Kimberbell. And one of the most special, unique things about a Kimberbell project these days is the beautiful background quilting that is an option for you to have. Well, I want you to meet someone really special to me who oversees an amazing team of people that make background quilting possible. Everyone, and I'm going to introduce you to my friend, Liz. Liz, hello. Hello, Kim. Hi, everybody. Thanks for oh, having me. How are you feeling about being on today? I am so excited and also just so honored. This is so much fun to get to spend time with you and talk about things. Yes. Yeah, Liz, I know you watch every week. Um, uh, what's new Wednesday? I know I see you on, and now you're on. Um, tell us a little bit about Liz. You lead this team, but you have some amazing ladies behind the scenes as well. You've got uh, Mookie and Mikkel and Jenica, who also. So I call you the Fantastic Four. <laughs> Four, <laughs> and um, tell us about a little bit about your team and what it's like to work on background quilting designs at Kimberbell. Right. I have an amazing team. Like you said, the four of us are all working from home moms. So we're all young moms. Um, so we all work part time, um, but we all really have so much fun working on the background quilting behind the scenes. So um, we all use our talents and skills in making the artwork for the background quilting and creating the instructions, 
file formats, testing, all the things that go into Kimberbell's wonderful designs, um, the four of us work on day in, day out with this background quilting. So yeah. I really love to shout out to my team. They are so amazing. They are, they make it possible for us to put out so many designs and you know that we are always every week there's at least one new quilting design coming out um so we really enjoy what we do and we work so hard to make sure that we're always getting something new something fun out to you guys um but yeah working on background quilting is so much fun there's just so many possibilities and that's the thing liz yeah. I mean, you're saying you're exactly right. There's so many possibilities. Mm. How? Tell us a little bit. Give us a little insight into what what is the process because because of so many possibilities, as you mentioned, it's hard to like just narrow it down. Going, oh, I think I'll do this as a toss mm. design, or I'll do this as a clear blue tile design, or right. what is the process when you get the artwork or when you first learn about a new product here at Kimberbell, is that when you guys like go to work and, you know, give us a little insider take on that. Yeah, I'd love to tell you a little bit more about it. So really when a project is launched at Kimberbell, the artwork is finalized, that's when I get to see it. I get to be one of the lucky ones that gets to see these beautiful projects at the very beginning. When I see the artwork, I start pinpointing, you know, all the cute elements that are within the project. Um, and I start kind of pulling those, those elements that I want to use to create quilting designs. So um, really, when we're working on a background quilting bundle for a project like Oh So Delight Delightful Quilts and Decor, it's all about how does it, how can we complement the project as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want to like, we don't want to outshine. We want to complement. We want to coordinate with mm -hmm. um, the project because really it's just about taking your project to the next, the next level if you want to do that, right? So how, what I elements do I want to pull from the project to coordinate and make those background quiltings really play well as a team? as a team with the project, right? And all the embellishments. So really I look at the project as a whole. What are all of the blocks? Um, what are all the embellishments going on the quilts? What are the fabrics? And so all those things are kind of in my mind and I'll start doodling out the elements and pulling and playing with how would I toss them? Which ones make sense for a clear blue tiles design? Which ones make more sense for a block by block or an orange design if you're looking on the website. So really there's there's a lot of thought that goes into it. How does it coordinate? How does it play well with the, with the project that they're gonna go on? I, I love how you mentioned that you don't want it to be like, you don't want it to outshine yeah. the, the design itself. And I would say that, you know, anyone who does a background quilting, whether they're a long armor or, you know, they're doing it on their domestic, you know, sewing machine or whatever, that is the goal is to really make it special, but still kind of stay as a background dancer, right? right. <laughs> background, backup singer, maybe. Totally. So, you know? Totally. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. You want it to play well with the project. You want it to just enhance the project and just Ooh. make it that extra level of fun, right? That's like the word. That extra level of cute. So, yeah. Enhance the project. Yeah. Well, you certainly do enhance the project. Um, I think it would be fun to actually show everyone how to find these designs. Yeah. And I would love to keep you on the screen here, Liz, and yeah. have you walk us through maybe some of your, uh, you know, the, the, the elements that you just absolutely loved uh, best making. So let me show people where to find this. Um, this is, of course, the Kimberbell website here. You can find it at Kimberbell.com. And if you go up to products, let's see, where it says get it today, you're going to go to background quilting. All right. And then here's where you're going to see, you know, uh, them in different um, sections here. Of course, we see the latest design right there. But that latest design is actually part of a bundle design for Oh So Delightful. So I'm going to show you where to find all of it anyway. So if we go back up to the top, it says all designs and then by project. Let's click on by project. I love how you guys have like have made this really easy, easier to see what 
we think goes with what. So this one is the Oh So Delightful. As you can see here, we've got Let Me Call You Tweetheart, Sweet as Pie, Cup of Cheer, you name it. Let's click on Oh So Delightful. And there you're going to find these as downloads uh, for single designs or a bundle design. And that's where if you mm -hmm. go as a click as a bundle design, uh, you're going to save 20% by buying it all in a bundle, right? So I'm going to scroll down here to where you're going to see the 20% 20 20 discount and then the bundle design. So I'm going to click on that, but know, of course, that all of these are available as single ones too. So it really gives you flexibility to pick and choose or to take all of it, um, what you would like uh, to use on your projects. Okay, so you talked about, um, well, we'll talk about the difference between orange and blue designs here in a minute. Um, but let's first take a closer look at the designs themselves. Tell us about this one, Liz. The border. Okay, Borders. so this is one of my favorite, the <laughs> Hobby Border one. I love it. So when I first saw the initial artwork for Oh So Delightful, that main So Happy quilt, when I saw that inner sashing was yellow fabric, I was like, there's just the only one thing we can do here. We have yeah. to do a measuring tape, right? Because that's the staple for any sewing group. So this is what bouncing ideas is so awesome to be able to do because when I put that yellow inner border in there, I was not even thinking about a ruler. I just thought it looked pretty with the blue border. It kind of set it off. And then you take it <laughs> up 10 notches and do a ruler that is seriously the showstopper. Right? I love, it was just, it was meant to be. It was just one of those clicking moments. I just knew it had to be. So that is the inner border design. So you I'm get- I'm gonna get a closer look here. Yeah. Oh, Real quick, I'm going to scroll through these pictures so we can find a close look at that border. Oh, it's here we so go. Here's cute. one. Look at that. Yes, I love I, it so much. I cannot it's believe so you made that possible <laughs> on an embroidery machine, and it's going to line up perfectly. It and, will. Oh, here's another yes. close-up look. And, um, oh, here we go. Look at that, you guys. Yes, it's so cute. And what is really cool is it will not matter if you have a five by seven hoop, a right. six by ten hoop, eight by twelve, or nine by fourteen. It all works, and it's gonna. You're not gonna know what size of hoop you used, right? Exactly. exactly. So it's one of the new block by block only borders. So it's meant to stitch seamlessly. It's gonna look like edge to edge. You're not going to be able to see where it starts, where it ends. So look at your extracts to make sure you see, you know, what, what it's going to look like with your particular hoop. Um, with smaller hoops, we could only get one, two, three, right? So, but, but still you're going to have this beautiful measuring tape look that comes across in your cute inner sashing. And I just think it is just the perfect little border <laughs> to go around the inside of your quilt. I just it think is. it's so cute. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at, of course, then you've got the So Happy, which the is so border. pretty. It's um, so cute, yes. Yeah. yeah. You've got, you So Happy, Joy, sewing machines, fabric bolts, scissors, just oh, all of those fun elements all it. together to just give I'm you that perfect. really cute, chunky, detailed outer border. Yeah, design. I so, love it, love yeah. it, okay. Yeah. Zigzag, you can't go wrong with a basic yeah. zigzag, right? Exactly, exactly. The inspiration behind this one, I was just thinking about your basic zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, right? Mm -hmm. And just making it a really versatile, linear design that you can use beyond Oh So Delightful, right? Like this would be cute on basically any block ever. It's just yeah. such a sweet, easy, cute design. It so is, we love it is. It. It, it really is versatile. Uh, yeah. For sure. Okay. I love this radial design. How did you come up with this one? This one is actually inspired by one of the new vintage flora fabrics, the sparkle design. Yes. So the sparkle design is so cute. And I just wanted to kind of echo the beauty of that fabric and create a background quilting design that went along with it. So really those radial stars are just those cute little sparkles from the fabric. 
Oh my and again, this one is just so versatile, right? Like mm-hmm. it's just that that classic crosshatch diamond with the little stars in the middle. It just makes it really extra cute. So, And again, that design itself could be used on anything. It doesn't scream sewing room collection. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Okay. This one is another showstopper. I know I keep saying that and I can't decide which is like my favorite because for all different reasons, uh, this one just, just makes you happy. Tell us about this. This one is just putting all those sweet sewing notions all together. You've got your buttons, your thread spools, your pin cushions, of course, because there's those pin cushion blocks on these on the quilt and you've got your scissors in there too. And it's all just connected by these cute loopy threads. I just think it's such a such a sweet um, design just that encompasses the joy of sewing and just all those tools and things that you use when you're sewing. Nailed it. Encompasses <laughs> the joy of sewing. I couldn't agree more. Okay, I know where this was inspired from, but why don't you share with the rest of the group? So this one, again, inspired by one of our vintage flora fabrics. So um, it's the, yes, the honeycomb flower. So the flowers are in these cute little hexagon shapes. And we just wanted to kind of echo that geometry, Mm -hmm. that geometric design. Because with every good bundle, I really try and have, you know, a good variety of different designs that really you kind of get you know, some geometric, some more organic. I really try and give you a variety so that you have a lot to play with. So this is one of those that just feels really geometric, but it's fun because it's a clear blue tiles design too. So I can see this being used with bee quilting too, because it kind of gives that honeycomb feel. Yes. Yeah, you can use it on something that's a little bit more like modern because it has kind of a modern feel to it too so it's just a super versatile super pretty design it's gonna stitch out really quick too so it's good for bigger projects yeah i didn't even think about using that with a with like a bee design but you're absolutely right it's kind of a a modern take on the honeycomb and it it's it works it's perfect and i love that it was inspired by the vintage flora fabric too which is kind of cool um okay this one a lot of people mentioned this last week when um they saw the oh so delightful quilt for the first time and that was the cross stitch background quilting so fun this one is one of my favorites from this bundle um a lot of labor of love with this one because (laughs) you know figuring out how to make it look all over as a style design while also encompassing the idea of this cross stitch design so really yeah we pulled from those cross stitch hearts we wanted to play up that idea of these beautiful those little hoops that you're going to make on the quilt bringing in that cross stitch I feel um if you look at the lifestyle photos of this one it really double stitches over so it gives you this kind of thick chunky looking quilting that's really really sweet um so I really love this one the love the way it turned out let me see if I can find a picture of that real quick um of the cross stitch here oh yes here we go there yes you can really see that it's got kind of like it goes over itself twice Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. it's really got this chunky textural feel so it's it works really well on filler blocks it works really well as a background quilting design but it's just so fun it's such a fun design and I can see it being used Valentine's Day which is coming up I can see it being used on you know like an heirloom baby quilt I don't know I just feel like it's such a cute versatile design that um really shines in this bundle I'm just like sifting through some of these pictures so you can see more up close. Here's a look at, oh, look at those scissors on top of the thread spool. But here's, I love this so happy because, of course, depending on the thread color you use, you can make it more prominent or you can make it kind of, you know, settle into the background just a little bit too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This, let's see. Let's, let me go back here to one that is exclusive to the bundle. Do you want to tell us about the little, oh, where did it go? The little straight pins. Yes. 
Um, I will find it. <laughs> <laughs> right. There it is. There we go. So okay. yes, great pins. These are, this quilting is called the pins quilting design and it is exclusive if you buy the bundle. Um, it's a filler quilting block. It's a one by six sized block, okay. um, file size that you could use to um, quilt these very specific filler blocks that are on the quilt. So okay. you've got some rows, two rows of these one by six blocks that go across the quilt. And we just designed these pins to go there, um, knowing that we were going to have these sweet blooming pins coming out as coming in the embellishment kit. So um, I just wanted to kind of play up the S idea of pins and just another one of those cute notions that you have in your sewing room. Well, so. and let's be honest, my pins look exactly like that <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Right? It's like we just tossed the pins on the floor and took a picture of them. And Come on. I mean, if they were all nicely in a row, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? Oh, my goodness. So as you can see, she's also on the website. She's listed what all the, the, the designs are that come in the bundle, how many sizes they come in. If you click on any of those, um, you can also find the single designs of it, sounds like. Um, and you can save 20% through the month of February on yes. this, right? Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, a, a question that's often asked, oh, let me show this real quick. Do you want to tell us about this picture that I'm seeing? Yes, absolutely. So that is a picture of the background quilting guide. So what the background quilting guide is, anytime we are for a bundle, we always give you a quilting guide. And it basically tells you on our sample what quilting we used on which block and what size. So it's basically a map of if you want to do the background quilting exactly how we did it on our on our sample that mm -hmm. we took photos of, um, you use the guide to, you know, select the quilting that we use, the size that you need for each block throughout the whole project. So oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. You're really trying to make it easy, easy, yeah. easy for all of us. So if now, you buy the bundle, it'll be in your, it'll be in your download. You'll see that there's a PDF called quilting guide. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Great, great, great. Um, scrolling through these real fast, but tell us, um, you know, from your expert opinion as a, the digitizer behind these um, and your team, yeah. what is the difference? We get this question a lot. And, you know, I think we should come out with a video to, to help explain it too. But in a nutshell, if people are seeing some designs on a blue background and some designs on an orange background, how do you, why, why, why is that? And what's the difference between them? How do you use them differently? That kind of thing. Cause right. I think it's important for everyone to understand that. Totally. I'm so happy to talk about it. So yeah. Blue designs are compatible with clear blue tiles. So we mm -hmm. really tried to make that that kind of really easy to think about. And orange designs are block by block only. And why don't you add to that that blue yeah. designs and gray designs are yeah. perfect for clear blue tiles. Exactly. Because so, the gray designs are also all over um, right. like border designs. Yes, okay. exactly. So the dark gray borders are clear blue tiles um, compatible also. Okay. Um, light gray, so this particular border in Oh So Delightful, Quilts and Decor, is a light gray. And orange designs are block by block only. And the reason why those are block by block only is because um, they will have travel lines or they will have um, places where they need to connect outside of the block that if they just don't lend themselves well to being an all over design like Clear Blue right. Tiles is supposed to be, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so like, for example, the zigzag quilting, um, yeah. when you go up the line, you're going to have to travel across to get to the next line. So it's just really something you wouldn't want to use that as an all over quilting design because you'd have these little connecting travel lines that just wouldn't make it look as beautiful. So um, mm -hmm. clear blue tiles designs, the blues and the dark blue designs dark are gray. ones mm -hmm. that you can use all over you also get, you know, the block by block files, which just basically means we've given you the placement lines for your batting and your and your background fabric. So yeah. you're setting up your block for a feature project like yeah. these oh so delightful quilts and decor. So yes. that's sort of like a an, in a nutshell. Um, there's also an informational table 
on the website that you can look at and it gives you really good tips of what's the difference between the orange and the blue or the blue block by block and the clear blue tiles designs. Oh, so, thanks for pointing that out, Liz. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, you know, when we talk about block by block quilting, that's a yes. lot of times what we do on something like this where it has a lot of appliques yeah. on top, right? Mm -hmm. And so you do block by block in the background. And yes. like Liz says, it's got, you know, a, your it accounts for your um, seam allowance, right? Mm -hmm. So then you you sew those blocks together block by block right and um there you have it but block by block also has the traveling lines that was mentioned with a zigzag so it's got to travel somewhere so instead of us seeing all of those traveling lines they're inside the seam which is awesome are you there liz exactly oh okay i am hi and <laughs> Okay, you kind of cut out there for a minute. And then your blue, anything that's on blue or dark gray, work perfectly with clear blue tiles, but also yes. with block by block quilting. Exactly, exactly. So you get both sets of files so that you have all the versatile versatility you need to create any project you want with those. Yeah. So. That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. This is just, it's fun. I hope you guys all feel like it's fun to kind of hear what's going on. <laughs> like I say, literally in the background <laughs> at Camberbell, um, because we have this amazing team of these four ladies, like she said, work at home moms who have made um, all of our lives so much more fun and exciting and like really um truly remarkable being able to do this on our home embroidery machines as we do it instead of waiting till the end and then figuring out how to quilt it we're we're putting together these beautiful designs as we go oh. awesome okay so liz yes. you know I, i'm gonna i'm gonna give a shout out to to everyone out there who's watching because liz and her team and like i said it's liz and mookie and mikhail and jenica they're always reading your comments. <laughs> we are. <laughs> so if you have that, this is this is your time to let them know what kinds of background quiltings would you want to see? What's what I think I've even put this here in a banner. I want to know, they want to know mm -hmm. if you were, you know, if you had your ideal background quilting design that you could have Liz and her awesome team create. What is it that you're looking for in background quilting? Because we at Kimberbell want to provide all of that for you um, so that you can use block by block method, clear blue tiles method, and really make it, um, you know, something special for you. Wouldn't you say? So Liz, Liz are you ready to take down notes? <laughs> I am so excited. We often look at Kimberbells and fellows for ideas. So we love all the ideas and we want to make it happen for you. So please always send us your ideas. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. They're, they are, they're always looking. So, you know, um, yeah, the, the comments are coming up fast. <laughs> feathers. I think you have a feathers one in the works, don't you? It's coming. Yes, mm -hmm. we do have one coming. Yeah. I see. Um, Oh my gosh, beach themed. Beach themed. Oh, oh my gosh. such a good idea. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, pretty flowers and one sweet spring. Yes. Dogs, art, oh. Nico. I mean, oh. you, you've got yeah. job security, Liz, for years <laughs> to come. No doubt about that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, more, more generic. generic always. Those always. are always needed, right? Always. Oh yes. my gosh. Some yes. baby themes. I know you've got some baby oh. themes coming. Yes. Definitely. I mean, I get to, like Liz said, you know, she gets to be kind of the, you know, the first to see some of these designs yeah. right from the start. But I also get to see some of the background designs that are coming off of that really early on in the process because these guys are on it they're ahead of the game <laughs> and it has been really fun to see like what's coming out and so i see what you guys are asking for and i'm going oh my first day we're, we're doing it. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming this one's kind of fun something military like a navy oh, themed one with ships submarines planes that is I such like a that. good idea i really I like, like that, that. 
Okay, well, you know that team of four is going to be taking down feverish notes today to, to find out what's going on uh, or to, to figure out what their roadmap can, well, what can be added to, because you guys are quite quite ahead of the game, aren't you? We are, but we can always move things around. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. All right. Well, Liz, I can't thank you enough. Can't thank you enough for everything that you and your team uh, does to make our all of our lives, should we say, oh, so delightful. Yeah. Oh, so delightful. Thank you for everything that you do. I know um, a lot of people appreciate it, and we certainly do, too. Thanks for joining me today. Say hi to thank that little so guy much. for me. <laughs> Is he with I Grandma? This Thank morning? you for having me. <laughs> he is with. Grandma, yes, he's with Grandma. Grandma. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Yeah. Well, have a great day, Liz. Keep on creating. Thank you, Thank you for Take having care. me, Kim. Have a good one. Bye bye. bye. Oh, don't you love her? Yeah. She. One of these days, you're gonna have to meet the whole crew because they're all just so awesome, so grateful for um their their contributions to to making what Kimberbell is what it is today. So thank you, Liz and team. All right, guys. So let's go on. Um, I just wanted to give you a sneak peek on something that's coming out to shops. Um, they're going to be learning about it here next week because it was supposed to come out a while ago. Um, this oat linen pillow cover blank and it didn't make it when we got it wood, and now it's here. So it's going to be sent out here very soon. But I want to show you what I did with this oat linen. It's called the oat linen pillow cover blank. And it's coming out again next week. It's going to be sent to shops with Oh So Delightful. So what I did is I took one of the blocks from Oh So Delightful, the sewing machine, and I added it to the oat linen pillow cover blank. As you know, our, our pillow cover blanks are already quilted. So this, this uh, like a honeycomb uh, hexagon uh, look of uh, background quilting is already quilted. And it comes flat. This is what you're going to be looking for. It's the quilted pillow blank. It comes with the open side seams so that it's really easy to take any designs, any design, and then... This one I used the design from Oh So Delightful because we got to get you to see the possibilities, right? As you can see, it comes just as one flat piece, but it's already got a hidden invisible zipper in it so that all I have to do, oh, and the side seams are already surged, as you can see. Um, all I have to do is lay this on the bed of my machine, either a sewing machine or an embroidery machine, do my design, whatever that entails, and then I just sew up the sides with like a half of an inch seam. And then I've got the opening to put in a pillow form. And voila, I've got the cutest little pillow. And all I did for these little flags is I just cut some triangle fabrics and just attached them to this uh, little mini rickrack. And we'll go into a little bit more details about these kinds of ideas of what to do on these pillow cover blanks in the coming weeks. But I did want to give you a heads up that that is also coming to a quilt shop near you online. Or, you know, if you're lucky enough to walk through their doors, um, they will have this. And isn't that beautiful? If you could see this fabric, it's like this linen texture. And it truly is a gorgeous, versatile a pillow cover blank that you can put anything on. And so for my sewing room, I added, a, you know, a little sewing machine. But again, that comes from the quilt. Oh, so delightful. Right here. Being sent to quilt shops next week. So exciting. All right. So the reason why I share that with you, well, a couple of reasons, is because one, it's going to be part of our um, giveaway this week. But before I go into the giveaway, I don't want to forget something very important, and that is to announce the two winners of the Epic Giveaway. Hold, please. <laughs> Remember this last week? These are the brand new Oh So Delightful tote bags, reusable tote bags, and those are also being sent to shops this in this next week, starting February 8th. But last week during um, What's New Wednesday, I filled this baby up with 
hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of Kimberbell product. And two lucky winners are going to be announced right now. So the two people that won each one, one of those tote bags filled with all sorts of good stuff are, let's give a, a, a drum roll for Lisa Mallory Blundell. Lisa Mallory Blundell, congratulations. And Nikki Allen Vance. Nikki Allen Vance. You two are the lucky winners of Oh So Delightful. I hope you're watching right now because your ears just perked up and there's a spring in your step all day long, I'm sure, because this is coming your way. So congratulations. We will be contacting you um, from Kimberbell and we will let you know uh, you know, that you won again and that, you know, how can we get this to you? So there you go. There you have it. All right. Are you ready for this week's giveaway? You know, we talked a lot, of course, about Oh So Delightful. We're all very Oh So excited for that coming your way. And of course, the background quilting. So I want to know, let me bring this up here. It's giveaway time. Type in the comments here at Facebook or on our YouTube channel, just underneath this video, wherever you see this video, what other projects would you use with the Oh So Delightful Quilting Bundle? Remember, this is something that can be used beyond the quilt itself. We want you to build your library of designs to be able to use it for anything. I want to hear your ideas and we all want to share ideas on what other things you saw all the individual quilting designs. What else can you see making for those quilting designs or with those quilting designs? Because you can get them today. You can start today. But even though the the um, quilt doesn't come out to next week, Get started today on all sorts of fun projects. And two people are going to win. Well, where did it go? <laughs> okay, well, I took out the, the design. Let's see, oh, here we go, hold up. Two people are going to win the brand new pillow cover blank that I did with <laughs> the oh so, oh so delightful sewing machine, okay? Um, you're gonna win the pillow cover blank itself. You're going to win the pillow form. There's an 18 inch pillow form that goes inside of it. Remember I told you about the invisible zipper. Okay, we're going to get you the pillow form, the pillow blank, and then we're going to send you um, a bundle of fat quarters from the um, vintage flora fabric collection. Woo! All right, so there you go. Two people are going to win. Go ahead, type in the comments. What other projects would you use with the Oh So Delightful Quilting Bundle? Because we got to get inspired so we can get started on all kinds of projects before the quilt actually even gets here. We want to know two people are going to win the new um, pillow cover blank, some fabrics from Vintage Floor, and the pillow form. And there you have it. All right, guys. Nancy, she's saying... She's going to make a sewing machine apron. I love that. Janine, let's see. Where did you go, Janine? <laughs> you just left. Oh, Teresa, that's kind of fun. If you do that, Teresa, please, 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 please post a picture. She's saying a quilted jacket. I love that. How about Lilo? She says placemats. Um, let's see. Here we go. Janine says a sewing machine caddy to put all my supplies in when I travel. Awesome. Cheryl says a pillow and bags. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Patrick says a large bag to take to a class. I love it. Mary, she says storage baskets for fabric. Wall hanging, purses, totes, Kathy says. Oh, I love being inspired by each other. Thank you. Keep, keep these, these ideas coming. We want to hear them. Oh, a cover for the, your sewing machine. Great idea. Okay, there you go. Everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. It's always fun to be with you every Wednesday. I will see you next Wednesday. Until then, have a wonderful day. Keep doing what you love and keep experiencing the joy of creativity. Bye-bye.